Before we can use the Feature Definitions Creation Wizard in Explorer, we need to make sure that we have our level or levels in place and ready to use. Element templates are optional. Those can either be created through the Feature Definition Wizard or they can be pointed to in the Feature Definition Wizard. In this example, I'm just going to point to element templates that I've pre-created for the ramp baseline. So to get started, over on my alignment feature definitions, I'm going to right click and select to open the feature definition wizard. And I'm going to be creating a new feature definition in this example of an alignment type and it knows how to fill those in based on where you did your right clicking. The name of my feature definition, I'm going to call it ramp underscore baseline and I'm going to put it under the alignment road uh, category or path and you can select something different if you'd like. For our linear feature symbology we're going to be creating a new linear feature symbology and I'm going to give it the name called ramp baseline and then I'm going to use the same folder path linear alignment and road and for my element templates I'm going to use for my default element template I'm going to go pick that element template for the ramp baseline which is here and you see it fills in the appropriate information. And if I wanted to get more specific and break it down into the tangent versus the arc versus the spiral in plan view, I can do that here. And so, for example, I can come in and say under linear alignment road, we'll pick the baseline. And then for this one, we'll pick the arc. and then we'll pick the spiral. So that's our plan symbology. And because we have the default filled in, we can choose not to go ahead and pick the rest of these, but I'm going to go ahead and pick the profile intersection because that one is going to be different than what I have set for default. So I'm going to go ahead and preset that one. And I'm going to let default take care of what's in 3D. And so with that, I can go ahead and hit next, and that takes me over to my profile feature symbology. And again, I'm going to be making a new one. I'm just going to give it the same name called ramp baseline, and we'll select our path again. And then on our default element template, we could go ahead and pick what we did before. So linear alignment road and then ramp baseline. And if we wanted something different on our curves, we can go ahead and select that. Remember, default will rule unless you pick something to override it. And so I don't have to pick the element template here, the same as baseline if I don't want to. I am going to go ahead and pick my intersection, modeling points, intersecting profile. And then we're ready to hit next again. And then we'll give it a description and a name seed let's say ramp uh, BL and I'm not going to set a or quarter template or uh, attach item types right now so we'll hit finish and you'll see instantly that we have now a new feature definition with our information that we put into the wizard filled in and we go down and look at our feature symbologies it will also uh, fill in that and for our uh, linear and for our profile. Now I did not pick an annotation group, uh, but if you want an annotation group in the wizard there was an option that you could have selected your annotation group. So I can do it in the wizard or I can do it manually either way. And though if you have access to those in your workspace you can go ahead and set those uh, annotation groups. So again that could be done with the wizard but just to show you you can manually select uh, properties in the uh, properties panel as well to your feature definition. So that is a way that we can create a feature definition using uh, that right click option to open the feature definition wizard and then you can fill in the appropriate information and it can go as far as even making your element templates if you want it to or you can pick element templates that you already have in place.